everyone. Welcome to another episode of A Shot of Ruby. In this episode right here, we're going to be taking a look at beautifying our search URL. Now, before I go ahead and get started, I wanted to point something out over here. So I have this source code over here, and uh, you can track my progress as I work along uh, in the different episodes through uh, looking at my pull request. Uh, if you look at the closed pull request, you can see uh, you know the work that I've done, and you can see the file changes uh, that I've done in each of the episodes that I'm working on. So if you get stuck or you wanna see my source code, it's live on GitHub, it's open source, so you can check it out. And uh, I will also be uh, explaining a little bit about my workflow. So basically I have another branch over here, um, which is you know the beautifying of the search URL. So I've already done some of the work and I have it in a separate branch, but it's still open, it's not merged yet. Uh, you can check out what I've done in terms of code over here. So with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and ba go back into the code and I'm going to show you what we're going to be achieving today. So uh, over here, it's, you know, it's pretty okay for us to have something like this, uh, you know, have a search query and then we have, you know, like the, the, the search keyword and then we pass that into our search engine and it works, right? But it looks pretty ugly. So I'm very particular when it comes to search URLs. Uh, and I will go the distance to making it beautiful. And, uh, you know, Im later on when we implement more features uh, on our search engine, like faceted search and all that, it will also have beautiful URLs. So I, I take pride in that. I think it's very important that, you know, we keep things clean in the URL. Um, and, you know, to be to understand that, it, you know, you, you don't just use the and and and, you know, like doing something like that and adding on another a parameter. Uh, it just looks very ugly. Now let's let's take a look at what we're trying to achieve over here. Over here we have this query here, but check this out. So I'm gonna switch over um, to the branch that I've already done the work. Don't worry, I'll explain to you what you know how the code works and what I actually did. So git checkout feature. So I'm gonna check out the branch. Now I'm gonna hit reload. You'll see that it gives me this beautiful search URL. It's like movie search and then the keyword, right? So if I change keyword here to Superman. It gives me that you know really cool uh, looking URL, and it's not ugly anymore. So later on, when we apply filters, um, you know we have one user on our Codemy uh, channel requesting uh, you know to see uh, you know filters and all that stuff. So we will be showing that as well, and uh, we'll use it you know doing it using beautiful URLs. All right, so now that you've seen it work, let's jump into the code. So the first thing is, you, you'll see this over here in the routes. Uh, we need to write this custom routes over here. So we use a get search, and then we use this splat operator in our, uh, you know, in our route, uh, the star query. And then we point it to the movies index action. And we use this as search. And what that does is basically if we look in the rake routes, so rake routes, it's going to generate uh, the route helper for us with, with uh, search movies, um, you know, path. And that's what we're gonna use in order so we can pass in the query. Uh, so I'll show you what that means in a second. So, all right, so once we set this up, um, then what happens is uh, we have to then respond to this, you know? Uh, so let's take a look at our controller over here. So over here, I've got a before filter, beautify search URL. And what this does is basically all it does is redirect uh, to the search movies path. So this is the helper I was talking about that we set up in the routes. And then we pass in the queue. So where is this queue coming from, this params queue? So params queue is actually coming from the navigation bar. So uh, I have a form set up over here. Uh, I did like a lot of the styling. If you notice, a lot of the styling has changed. Uh, I did all this off screen. It is in a pull request. Uh, so you can go and check that out. Uh, I am passing in the parameter as Q, right? So what that what happens is when we submit this search form, we get the parameter coming into here as Q. And when we detect that, so if it if the Q is present, we redirect uh, to the search movies path, and then we pass we make the query the parameter Q. So what that means is now in the action we need to use params query instead of params Q like we had before. Now, once all this is set up, uh, it will work. So all, that's pretty much all you need to do. So the first step, let me do a bit of a recap. Uh, the first step is in the routes, you gotta set up your custom uh, routes over here. 
And essentially, you're you're setting up something which like you're going to be using. So this parameter here, uh, when we do redirect, is what we're going to be looking at that's going to get passed into the search engine. So then once we have set that set up, we have the search movies path helper that we redirect to uh, if we detect a queue parameter from our form. So what I have also done is made the landing page slightly different. So we check out the landing page, just an empty show. Uh, but if we look over here, you'll see that I have a form with the queue as well. So if I go back, I hit this here, we will see that um, you know we have an empty form and I type in the you know whatever parameters like Batman, for example. Um, let's take a look at our Rails uh, uh, console. So I'm gonna hit search. And what that's gonna do is, um, you know, it's gonna give me, first it's gonna give me the queue, Batman. Then what happens is because it detects that parameter, it's gonna do a redirect. And then we have the query Batman over here once it's been redirected and the URL has been reformed. So what that means is now we can use that um, in our search uh, query over here, passing it into our custom search method and uh, the rest is we just get the results and we're done. So simple enough. Uh, I hope you guys understood that. I hope you found it useful. I'm going to keep this one short. And in the next episode, we're going to be taking a look at how we can optimize the, the search results page. So basically, if you see here, we have a lot of N plus ones. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit into detail on how you can optimize this with Elasticsearch. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be taking a look at that next. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family if, if you found it useful. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I wish you guys a great day and I will see you in the next episode.